Hello and welcome to this year's online animal blessing service on Cat Tree Church. This is Kevin, one of the cats who has been deprived of their cat tree for much of the, the time during this pandemic when I have been using it for filming. I've created a wee display on the mantelpiece behind me here, which was a cause of some excitement with um, Kevin here and her sister Dorothy while I was putting it together. We gather here to celebrate our relationship with God's creatures, with our pets, with our livestock, with horses and stick insects and praying mantises and hens and guinea pigs, all sorts of creatures. And we all of us have a relationship with animals, whether those are our own pets, animals that we look after in our working lives, animals that we depend on as service animals, or the wildlife that we see in our gardens and the fields round about us. We gather here to give thanks to God for these creatures and to ask his blessing upon them. I'm going to start now with a scripture reading, a reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 24 to 31. Kevin has found some treats on the mantelpiece. God said, let the earth produce every kind of living thing, livestock, crawling things, and wildlife. And that's what happened. God made every kind of wildlife, every kind of livestock, and every kind of creature that crawls on the ground. God saw how good it was. Then God said, let, let us make humanity in our image to resemble us, so that they may take charge of the fish of the sea, the birds in the sky, the livestock, all the earth, and all the crawling things on earth. God created humanity in God's own image. In the divine image, God created them. Male and female, God created them. God blessed them and said to them, be fertile and multiply, Fill the earth and master it. Take charge of the fish of the sea, the birds in the sky, and everything crawling upon the ground. Then God said, I now give to you all the plants on the earth that yield seeds, and all the trees whose fruit produces its seeds within it. These will be your food. To all wildlife to all the birds in the sky and to everything crawling on the ground, to everything that breathes, I give all the green grasses for food. And that's what happened. God saw everything he had made. It was supremely good. Amen and thanks be to God for this reading of his holy word. Kevin has discovered some food which was on the mantelpiece behind me there as I was reading about the food that God has given to us all. Kevin's away for a snack and I have here Dorothy who is very suspicious about this um, whole adventure. So I will let you go Dorothy and you will be blessed as part of our service. If you would like to say hello and show the people your lovely eyes. There they are, there's Dorothy. We hear from our reading of Genesis that God made the animals first. He made all our fellow creatures before he made us, before he made men and women. So there has been no time at all in our human history that we have been without the companionship of creatures. And God gives us the responsibility of caring for his world, for his creation and for all that is in it. So in our service today, we, we remember and we give thanks for pets and animals that we have known in the past. We ask God's blessing on the creatures that we know and love. We ask God's blessing on the creatures with whom we have a relationship of feeding and caring for. And we bless those creatures upon whom we depend in so many different ways. Animals are important to all of us. And over the past 18 months or so of pandemic, we have been particularly conscious of the ways in which they enrich our lives. I speak now the words of blessing. Creator God, all these precious creatures belong to you. We praise you for giving us 
all the many and varied creatures which fill your world. We ask your blessing upon the animals whose names and pictures form part of this service today. We begin with thanksgiving for those precious animals who are no longer with us, but whose lives enriched our own and who we entrust to your safekeeping. Amen. We give thanks for the life of Sam, who was part of the family for 18 years and is sorely missed. And also for Rebecca, who loved to hover. We ask blessing on the talented Herbie, on two-year-old Tuppence, who loves being out and about when she's not snoozing on a chair, on Robbie, who has been a great comfort this past year, on Blackjack, on Minnie, and all the Tups on the family farm. For Dougie, who is very much part of the family. For Eva, the Gordon Setter. For Pippa, the Puggle who stays with her Gran. Motsy, who is coming up for one year old and is learning to work on the farm. Paige, the pet rabbit, who loves being out in the garden, and her doggy companions, Freddy and Jack. Johnny Walker, who was adopted as a stray 12 years ago and is now very much part of the family. For the lovely Daisy. For Bailey and Loki, whose family can't imagine life without them. Dairy cows peacefully grazing in our beautiful countryside. For Snoopy who is the most loving, caring little dog who brings such joy to his family. Ziggy, who loves to swim and eat from the kitchen bin. Shy Sasha, who loves to hide. A fishy companion, one of four. Frenchie, who loves to sneak onto the bed. Likos, who loves his ball pit and hiding socks. Robbie, who enjoys a good nap, torches and shadows. A family of ladybirds who've made their home in a sunflower. Honey, the grand dog. The majestic Princess Poe. Hector with his flip-flop and the Cat Tree Church Cats, Kevin and Dorothy, from the manse. As Dorothy breaks into a packet of treats in the kitchen, we join now together in our closing prayer. Let us pray. O God, your creatures fill the earth with wonder and delight, and every living thing has worth and beauty in your sight. So playful dolphins dance and swim, your sheep bow down and graze. Your songbirds share a morning hymn to offer you their praise. You made the pets we welcome in, their wondrous blessings too. With paws and whiskers, wings and fins, they offer praise to you. O Lord, you call us to embrace these creatures in our care. May we show kindness, love and grace to all pets everywhere. You made the creatures on each farm. You know the things they need. May they grow healthy, safe from harm and safe from human greed. Just as a shepherd loves the sheep, you know their joy, their pain. Lord, bless the animals we keep. May all farms be humane. Your creatures live in every land, they fill the sky and sea. O Lord, you give us your command to love them tenderly. We are called to have dominion here, to care for them always. By loving creatures you hold dear, we offer you our praise. Amen. Fellow creatures, friends and companions, may God your creator and preserver bless 
defend and keep you this day and every day. Amen. <laughs>